I've been playing around with this new updated AI influencer generator for about a week now. And I've got to tell you, I'm impressed. I was able to generate an AI influencer that looks completely real. I also created content for them. And not only could I choose how they look, I could choose their style, their personality, even the way they talk. Here's an example of what I made. I think you'll agree that it looks pretty cool. So please allow me in this quick tutorial to show you how you can do the same. The tool we're using today is called Swap Fans. I'll leave a link for you in the description down below. When you first sign up and log in, you're going to land on their dashboard. Now, the first thing you wanna do is load up your balance. Now look at the top menu and click on services. From there, you'll see AI influencer. So go ahead and click that. Now there are two main ways we can create an AI influencer. And I wanna be really clear about this. The first method is cloning a real person, but you absolutely must have permission from that person. You can't just go grabbing photos of random people or celebrities. Celebrities. If you do have permission, you would simply take their photos and drop them right here in the upload area. The AI will use these to train and create a digital clone of that person. But here's what most people are actually going to want to do. What I recommend is creating a completely brand new AI influencer that doesn't exist in real life. There are a couple of methods to do this, but I'm gonna show you the most straightforward way by using Mid Journey. All right, let's open up Mid Journey. I'm just gonna type in something about a pretty woman in her 20s with big brunette curls, hazel eyes, tan skin, and in medium shot. Now, obviously, the more specific you are with your prompts, the more unique the results are. Now, we have several options. Let's say I really like this one because it's got good lighting, clear features, and looks natural. I'm gonna download this image and this is gonna be our base reference. But here's where most people mess up. They think one image is enough, but it's not. We need to create multiple photos of the same character from various angles. You can do that by generating the same prompt a couple times. You want to aim for about 10 images minimum, but they need to look like the same person. This is where attention to detail really matters. You want to maintain consistent features across all the images, same eye color, same face shape, same basic characteristics. If one image shows brown eyes and another shows blue, that's gonna confuse the AI. You can just do that by uploading the original generation as a reference and using the same prompt. Once you've generated all these variations and you're happy with them, download them all and head back to Swap Fans. This is where you'll upload your collection of images. The AI is going to analyze the photos and use them to create your digital influencer. The reason this method works so well is that you're giving the AI a really clear and consistent vision of what your influencer should look like. It's like giving the AI a complete blueprint instead of just a rough sketch. And the results are significantly better when you take the time to do this properly. Remember that quality is more important than quantity. I'd rather see you upload eight perfectly consistent images than 15 that don't quite match. Take your time with this part because it's the foundation of your AI influencer and getting it right at this stage will save you a lot of headaches later on. Now that we have our AI model trained, let's get into the actual content creation. There are four different methods you can use to generate content with each one having its own unique advantages. First method is like your quickfire content generator. You've got these pre-built tags that make it super simple to generate content. Simply click the tags you want and then hit generate. And just like that, we've got our model henna in the city. Perfect for those Instagram posts. The second method is where it gets interesting. Let's say I want henna to create content about traveling abroad. You can pick any of these photos. I'll go with these two backgrounds, hit generate, and now it's going to place henna in that exact environment, but with her unique look and style. The third method is where you can get really creative. I've actually got a prompt here that I crafted. So I'll type in this exact thing. Business coach leading a masterclass workshop in a luxurious conference room, actively engaging with a virtual audience on her laptop with professional lighting and a cinematic composition. Drop that in, set it to nine by 16, and there we go. It's the best for promoting an online course or virtual workshop. Both look good, but I prefer the one on the left as her hair looks more like the reference image. The fourth method is one of my favorites for staying on trend. Let's say I find this really successful influencer and I want our model Hannah to replicate their style. I can grab their profile link, drop it in here and choose one of their highest performing posts as inspiration. Click generate and now we've got Hannah doing a very similar pose with the same background, but with her own unique style. The future of AI influencers is absolutely insane. We're already seeing AI influencers get verified on Instagram, sign major brand deals, and build genuine communities. But here's the thing, 
the space isn't saturated yet. This is literally the perfect time to get started. If you want to try this out yourself, click the link in my description. Let me know in the comments what type of AI influencer you're planning to create. I'd love to see what you come up with.